safe place to work. Emily Herbert, MBN News. A local stock and stage, station agent says li live exports isn't to blame for diminishing cattle numbers. The comments come as meat workers' unions rally in Tamworth, demanding greater security for their jobs. A vocal start to a Tuesday morning. Meat industry union members rallied outside the Tamworth office of Deputy PM Barnaby Joyce. Concerned the live export trade is killing the beef processing industry. We're asking the government there needs to be some quota in relation to numbers. Um, our, our national Australian herd at the moment is at its lowest, at 26.3 million. While the protesters hailed from Newcastle, they claim 2,000 New England abattoir workers face an uncertain future. There's no reason why we shouldn't be processing all of our animals in Australia. We need to protect 55,000 jobs. But while the unions play the live export blame game, local industry representatives say North West graziers depend on the live market. The biggest thing about live export is it creates competition against the processors, therefore ensuring good prices for the, uh, for the people who produce the, the livestock. While Mr Burke understands the meat processing industry wants job security, it's the years of dry seasons that have affected the herd size. I believe that they can both coexist, but I think we're going to have to wait until the seasons uh, get back to where there's uh, the building up of the numbers. Barnaby Joy said in a statement meat processing has grown in the New England region and that both industries have coexisted for decades. Emily Herbert, MBN News.